Good morning or good afternoon or wherever you are. Yeah, it's Keith. Um, I promised a couple of people I do a very short blog on using a wind turbine with our inverter. Um, many people talk about it and I want to share a couple of things with you and show you that we've, we've tested this and we know it works. So it definitely can work with a wind turbine. So I'm going to show you a couple of little videos. So first of all, I'm just going to share this video with you and you can probably see on the screen now. So I'm sharing the video. I'm not so very good at doing this. So um, just, just bear with me a little bit. Um, and basically this was a test that we, we carried out um, some, some time ago in uh, the UK. In fact, I'll start the video. We'll start it here. And you can see so 1.26 kilowatt from the grid. We've got a load this of 1.56 kilowatt. And we're, we're, the turbine is now producing 0.7. And in fact, the voltage of the turbine is running at 86 volts. And what's the positive RPM? Uh, 60 RPM. 60 RPM. So let's take the RPM up a bit more now. So this was on a static site. So uh, we're using a static site to test it. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, 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 a turbine emulator. And it works remarkably well. So let me let me stop that there rather than bore you. If anybody's particularly interested, I've got the whole video. Um, and it's about several of them, about an hour long. But it's just showing testing the turbine in a situation. So how to wire a turbine? So people say, well, it's easy to say. Well, it actually will work with most turbines. First of all, look down, if you're MPPT, so if you're using, say, for example, um, the 8.8, and you've got a peak rating on the MPPT is like six kilowatt. Uh, as I always say, it's your MOV, you, 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 so your, your voltage, your VOC, sorry, your VOC is the most important thing. So don't exceed the VOC, otherwise you'll burn out the inverter. Um, try to give a good tolerance. So I would suggest is if you're um, if you if you're running on the eight kilowatt, I probably limit it to two thirds, so four kilowatt um, wind turbine. We've tested with a five, so that's actually a five that we tested with, and it worked very well. Um, with, the, with the five kilowatt, your MPPT is a bit smaller, and obviously the three phase, you've got bigger MPPT, so the three phase can be up to 15 kilowatts, is pretty big. So you just need to decide which, which inverter you're using and which peak power you've got. So how to wire it up, it's all very, it's all very simple and it's not so difficult. And people say, well, it's really complicated. It's not, and it also depends on the wind turbine. I the one that we were testing there is by a company called Britwind, which is a very good wind turbine. It's probably one of the best that I've come across, and they're professional. They're not the cheapest. It's made in the UK. There are other two wind turbines. There's a lot of Chinese turbines, turbines, smaller ones. Um, I can't recommend one because they frighten the life out of me. But all I can suggest is make sure it's a good one because you don't want something whizzing around that's going to suddenly give a, 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 a huge problem. So how, how to how to work it? So basically, if you if you've got I've got my my sort of new my, my whiteboard here. It's just a portable whiteboard. So basically, most of the turbines are three phase, and they're all three phase. So you, you let me draw. It. So you've got three three coils, three phase like that. My, my drawings are terrible, especially using this type of thing. Okay, so you've got three phase. In the center of it, they're using, most of them using what they call a permanent magnet, so north and south. And the magnet rotates around, and as it rotates around, you, you, you're gonna get, you, it will induce a voltage in each of the three coils, it's down the three phase technology. Um, so in, in itself, we can't use it. So we put this into a, into a bridge, into a, um, uh, into a three phase bridge here which is just six diodes or whatever and the, out, the output of the bridge a couple of capacitors we have to smooth this off with a couple of really nice big capacitors and i can show you typical we're then using a resistor because the output from this is different to the output of a solar panel so we have to use an r resistor here and then maybe we put in another another um capacitor here and this this, this configuration here is called a pipe filter and then this will give us um, this will give us our positive and our negative, and this will go into the MPPT. Just be aware, um, we, if you're going to use this sort of simple configuration, you need to make sure that you, your turbine is self-braking. So, in other words, if, it's, if it goes very fast, um, it will be, it will have some sort of method to short these these connections together. 
and there'll be some sort of um, method to short the, short the coils together. And by shorting the coils together, um, that will actually break, it, it, it acts as a DC break, and that will actually stop the, uh, the thing dead or very much dead. If you don't do that, the thing can whiz and whiz and whiz and it will become really dangerous and at very high voltages. Some of the better turbines have a braking system or some sort of self-management system. If you're using the largest turbine, you must use a controller and that's basically to brake it, to slow it down. And most of the turbine manufacturers will offer their controller. It will work without, um, but you've got to be careful. On our inverter, however, we, we've got, um, you can use the smart load what we can do is you can connect the smart load to a dump load and so as the batteries right raised and the voltage is coming and coming and you're not using the power switch in the dump load which is a smart load and that will load up the, the turbine and that will certainly slow it down definitely um and we, we've done and in fact on the video i i've got here uh we've gone further on and we actually using a dump load in fact we're using electric heater um, you could be really clever and you could use the dump load would be hot water, but once your hot water is hot, you don't need it. So you have to consider what you're going to use as a dump load, especially in windy conditions. Um, and you could develop something, it wouldn't be rocket science uh, to develop, but you'd have to come, you'd have to come up with some sort of de device. Or um, I say a lot of the controllers do it. A lot of the wind turbines are self-braking. So this particular one I was showing in the UK has its own braking mechanism. So we've got an output, which is a three phase, but internally within the um, within, within the turbine itself is a as a sort of braking. So that's that's basically it. Um, so yeah, you can use them, not a problem. Think of a very simple circuit I've just shown you here. We do include this in one of the documents, I think. So have a look at it. Uh, I hope it's useful. If not, just tell me. Um, but we've done it, you know, I've tried to show you. We've actually done it, we've actually tested it. So it does work. I've got a very interesting thing coming up soon. Uh, and a couple of interesting things uh, reference to our inverter and the next video i'm going to release will be our new app so just keep an eye out for our new app because our new app is really nice um we can completely control the inverter everything and you can upgrade yourself you don't need to call us you can do it you can click on a button and you can upgrade and set various management so we can the customer can see it at the moment it's only operating on a pc um if anybody's interested to do a trial i'm happy to work with anybody on that but let me know it is available and if you go on sunsync.net sunsync.net um there's a there's a gateway there's also a gateway on our, our main website but there's a gateway there and that can be linked to anybody's website so have a look at it we've got time thanks for watching